hello welcome back to my channel and to a new video i hope you're well and having a lovely day if you're new here my name is nicola and i make lifestyle videos and today i've just got a bit of a catch up because it's currently tuesday it is almost 6 p.m <laughs> and i need a video for tomorrow and i haven't filmed one um so I don't, yeah the, we have just had well I have just had the loveliest weekend so it's just been bank holiday um I hope you all had a really lovely weekend um we just did didn't do a lot but it was just really nice um because I'd like gutted the house the previous week which if you haven't seen my previous video go and have a look at, at me gutting the house um because we did that there wasn't a lot of cleaning and tidying to do just a little bit of sorting here and there and so Saturday it was miserable in the morning like absolutely pouring down so we didn't do much in the morning and then in the afternoon Phoebe wanted to go shopping she never wants to do anything else other than shopping her girl loves to shop uh, so we've been to Milton Keynes shopping recently we've been to Birmingham shopping recently so we thought let's go to Leicester we had to go to Kettering anyway to pick up Sir her crocs which she'd left at a friend's house so we thought we would go there and then go up to Leicester shopping so we did that and it was lovely and then we didn't do anything in the evening just had pizza and then Sunday I did 17 mile walk which is my last and longest training walk for the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge which I'm doing link below if you want to sponsor me um in fact I've got a real and a YouTube short I need to um edit for that um so I did that on Sunday I left at about 20 to 9 and finished at about 20 to 2 so it took me five hours all on my lonesome but I really enjoyed it it was hard work though my legs have been really hurting ever since my hips really sore but it was good um so pleased to get that long one out of the way next long one I do will be 24 miles and we'll be on the day and we'll be a lot a lot of hills um so yeah did that on Sunday and then just chilled for the rest of the afternoon and then on Monday yesterday so I took Phoebe down to my parents first thing in the morning I dropped her off at about quarter past nine and she has gone down to South Devon with them and with my sisters and my sister's family uh, for well until Friday so she's off having a lovely time down there and so I came back and Andrew and I went out for lunch we went to Beckwith Emporium which if you're local you'll know it's a garden centre not far from us um, but it's quite a plush garden centre with a posh farm shop and a gifty shop it's really nice and they have a massive restaurant and do the nicest food I had oh clicky jaw um, I had a smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel uh, with salad and a nice little bowl of chips Andrew had a superfood salad so we were quite um, healthy and um, did a little bit of shopping and then um, came home and then I, I dropped Andrew home and we in the shop we bought and i was going to show you this actually as a favorite because i loved it um we bought one of these so i'll show you now um it's uh, murder at the magic mirror casino it's by cryptis cryptic killers so basically it's a, a case file for a murder not a real one obviously and um you have to go through all of the case files all the, ind all the little bits of information here that you do need to go on the internet a little bit but not much um to get extra information and then you have to solve the murder so we thought we would do that and um instead because we had thought about the other things we could do to go to cinema because it's not very often we are completely kid free because archie's in um greece with um his girlfriend leah and her family uh, so yeah i mean not that we would have to stay in for him but um yeah it's not very often that we are just on our own so we thought we could do you know something else we thought about going to crazy golf and then we didn't really fancy it and i thought oh, do you know what i'd love to do this at home and then um have some like picky tea because we'd had a good lunch so i went to marks and spencers and bought some cheese and biscuits and crisps and uh, yeah it was really lovely had a nice glass of wine and we spent two and a half hours doing that yesterday evening so I felt very refreshed this morning going back to work and yeah it was a really lovely weekend so there were lots of things I potentially could have filmed yesterday would have been a quite nice day to film but yeah, I didn't want to I <laughs> just just enjoyed it and uh yeah so I thought I hadn't got anything to film today so I thought well, I'll just chat to you because 
why not uh, so yeah I've got a few bits that I've bought recently that I thought I could show you as well uh, and that was one of them so I thoroughly recommend this I got to say we got it from the garden center but I know garden center but I know you can get them on Amazon it was 19.99 so for a couple of hours entertainment I think that's quite good we had thought about doing an escape room because we love escape rooms and uh, but they're really expensive they're like 20 pound each for an hour uh, so this is a similar thing, but you get to do it at home and it's much cheaper. So, um, but yeah, the escape rooms that we usually go to were all closed yesterday, which was a shame. Either that or they were fully booked, but yeah, you couldn't book for yesterday. But Archie did send me a reel he'd got for um, some escape rooms in Milton Keynes, not ones that we've been to before. We've done the trapped ones. No, not trapped. That's not, that's here. What are they called? Escape Hunt, is it? I think. And then some other ones in Milton Keynes. Um, but this one is one that I've not done before. And they've got a new room, which is a Wallace and Gromit room. And Archie sent me the, the reel of it. And he was like, please, can we go? <laughs> yes, absolutely we can. We love doing escape rooms. So I think that will be the next family activity. But yeah, so that's that was yesterday. So that was really, really good fun. And then this week I'm back to work. I have, um, I've got to go to London tomorrow for work. And then uh, this weekend, is there anything going on? Don't think there is. No, nope. nice chilled weekend. I'll do a shortish walk probably. And then a few more days and then Phoebe's back to school next week. And obviously I've got the trek on Friday, next Friday on the 6th. So I'm heading up to Yorkshire on the 5th to do that, so that would be really good. I'll be pleased to, to do it and get it out of the way. Um, I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. I think it will be very painful, but uh, anyway, I think I'll enjoy it. Anyway, so I just thought I'd come on and say hi. I hope everyone's had a lovely summer. I think we're having a bit of a, a nice, we were supposed to be having a heat wave this week. I'm not so sure. It, it's warm, but it's not particularly sunny. We've just taken the pool down in the garden. We did that. We started emptying that yesterday and it's just about empty now. Um, and Andrew's sort of put all, we put all the poles away and stuff and put it all nice and neat. We're just waiting for it to fully drain and dry and then we'll pack that away until next year. Because I mean, if, if it was warm enough, we would have kept it up for this week if Phoebe had been here. But because she's not, um, we probably won't use it. So there wasn't much point in keeping it up. So we've got that down. But yeah, I did see originally it said it was going to be 27 degrees tomorrow, but it's not here in Northampton. It now just changed to 22, I think. But in London, where I'm going, it's going to be 26, it says. So I've washed one of my summery dresses to wear tomorrow. Uh, and it's Phoebe says it's been really hot down in Devon. So if you're Devon based, lucky you. She uh, has had a nice time so far and she's been in the pool but she has got burnt today because I didn't I didn't send her with any sun cream because it said 19 degrees and partial sun for the whole week so I was like well she won't need any sun cream it's not gonna be warm enough she'd probably be in a wetsuit most of the time so it won't matter I was wrong she's got burnt today so I think she's gonna see if her grandma will take her and go and get some sun cream so that she can cream up from tomorrow um, hopefully she she tends to be quite dramatic so I'm hoping that it's worth it's not as bad as she's saying it is fingers crossed but she's having fun anyway so that's really good she's a very sociable girl so she always enjoys going on holiday even without us it's she's having a great time and she's got her two cousins there who are 17 and 15 I want to say so they're not too much older than her so yeah she's having a great time um we we are looking forward to our holiday which will be in October we're going to France so I'm looking forward to that we need to we need to pay for that actually Money is going, I'm spending money as if I've won the lottery actually at the moment. <laughs> I have to stop, you know, when you start, I'll just have that, oh, I'll just have that. And it's just 20 quid here and 20 quid there. And suddenly you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to stop spending money. Um, when I, I think the problem is, is I keep taking Phoebe shopping to do, you know, to buy nice things and then end up buying things for myself as well as her. And when I'm spending money on her, it never feel, I never feel too guilty. I'm like, oh, well, it's for Phoebe. <laughs> She doesn't need it. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a few things that I've been buying. Uh, when we went to Birmingham, uh, I didn't buy much. She had um, she bought a really nice hoodie from Bershka, which she has got with her. But I bought this um, Kiko lip gloss. Uh, there is a Kiko stand in Milton Keynes, and I pass it regularly, but I've never really looked at it properly. And she bought a Kiko lip gloss when she went on her ski trip in February and she got like a clear one 
and it's really nice so I thought oh actually I might like one so I bought this one it's this sort of quite a neutral shade and uh, I can't remember what what note has it got a number it has oh, I don't know whether that's it but it says 32 so that might be it it's a 3d hydra but anyway it's very nice and it actually tastes quite nice not that I eat it but you know obviously you can taste it on your lips and it's quite nice so that was that I think it was about 11 pound so not too bad for a lip gloss and then um when we went this is not for me oh, dog hair all over this chair when we went to Leicester at the weekend we went to a shop that Phoebe loves which is called Damage Society it's kind of a grungy sort of shop shop and they've got lots of um, band t-shirts and just cool stuff <laughs> and uh, they had lots of lounge fly bags actually um, but they did have a whole section of Beetlejuice merch and because we are going to be in Disneyland Paris for Halloween Phoebe has been thinking about her costume like what she wants to wear uh, we're not gonna be there for the evening on Halloween unfortunately just be for the day but even so I think they have Halloween stuff all the time so she'll be able to wear this on any day um, and so I bought this for her which is this Beetlejuice uh, little skirt it, it it's got like and you see it's got little like beetles all over it and it's got these green like um braces and then it's got netting underneath and i thought it was great and it looks really nice on her and she was like i can wear that with like a black t-shirt and, and tights and boots and she's very excited about her outfit and she will have said i can also wear it like if there's a halloween party i can go to but i say we're not actually home Halloween but when she goes to watch Beetlejuice she can wear it and uh, she will be wearing it next year as well I imagine because <laughs> it was £45 so yeah that was a very special gift but she did pay she put £20 towards it and then I paid £25 so that was fine uh, but yeah that was really cool and they had like cardigans tops all sorts of cool stuff but yeah £45 was my limit so she had that and then while we were there I also bought this um sort of what do you call it is it vest like sleeveless jumper uh from new look which i thought was really really lovely uh it's got obviously a gray bow on the front i got it in a medium it fits pretty much perfectly i did also buy a white bodysuit to go underneath it which was in the sale i think it was nine pounds um they didn't have a 14 so i bought a 12 and i thought oh that'll be fine it was not fine i mean it fits fine all up here but uh yeah not comfortable <laughs> doesn't fit over my underwear it goes right up your bum so uh, i am um, i've like i've worn it so i can't take it back or anything but it's not the end of the world but i've just been in tesco because i know their body suits are supposed to be quite nice but they haven't got any mediums they've only got small extra small and extra large so and even and they've got large but the large look massive so um i need to wait and see if they get a medium in um, but if anyone else knows of any good places where that sell really comfortable body suits that won't break the bank bank just don't just need a plain white one or even a like a gray that gray would be nice um, but i thought this would look really nice with my denim skirt or um i've got some like green trousers that would look nice with or just jeans just thought it was lovely and that, i can't remember how much it was i think it was 19 pounds so not too expensive they also had a gray one this color that just said shiri in white on the front but I preferred this one so I got that and then just now I've been to Tesco and they've got some lovely new things in like really nice and they have I mean you, you know I'm a lover of a long straight maxi skirt <laughs> a denim one I have three I've got a, a blue one a cream one and a white one and the cream one came from Tesco they now have like a charcoal grey like like washed out black one and a black one in and I was like oh and then I turned around and I saw this one which is ridiculous because it's a cream one and I already have a cream one but it's corduroy so I thought for the autumn this was going to be so nice it was 1950 so not too expensive um and you know nice and long and I just absolutely love it I tried to get Phoebe to buy one I think she'll look lovely in one of these and we found like um like a cargo style one in Primark and she bought it and she put it on it was actually too big so we needed to get a smaller size but she was like no it's not me it's not me I don't like it and I was gutted because I think it looked lovely on her but anyway 
she goes, I look like a 40 year old woman like, because I wear them. And it didn't help because she walked in the kitchen and she put it on and Andrew went, oh, you look like mum. <laughs> Big mistake <laughs> to a 13 year old does not want to look like their mum. So I think perhaps if I don't, didn't wear them so much, she probably would have liked it, but yeah. She was dead against that. So anyway, I love this one. Um, I got it home and thought, oh, I don't really need it. Probably should take that back. But I love it. I really like it. I need to stop spending money. It's ridiculous. Um, and then finally, I was in, I went to TK Maxx yesterday just to see what autumn stuff they got in. I don't need any more autumn stuff. However, I did buy, did I buy something autumn-y? Oh, I did. I'll show you that in a second. I did the other day. I bought something else. Um, but when I went in there, I went to look at the um, skincare because I think sometimes it's good you can look at and get some really good brands in there, really cheap. And actually, they had the night cream, the L'Oreal night cream and day cream that I use for six ninety nine a tub, and they're usually like twelve, thirteen, fourteen pounds a tub. So I picked them up and think, oh, I should get those. Not that I need any right now, but I thought when I run out, when they run out, I'll have some spares. So I picked those up, and then I went round the other side, and they had these serums, and I'm actually running short of all my serums. Sorry, my um, my SD card was full. Um, yeah, so all my serums I'm running out of. So I had a look and uh, they had some of these. So I just thought, I'll try something new. I'm not sure. I did literally use the first one last night and I came up with a spot this morning, but it uh, may be completely unrelated. Uh, and also, sometimes when you use something new, your face quite often breaks out to start with. I'm quite used to that. So I think I'll persevere with it. But uh, it is, this is the Clinical Works retinol facial serum moisturizing replenishing and toning and i like the packaging as well <laughs> and it was are you going to focus there we go and it was just 5.99 um the rrp doesn't say so maybe it's always 5.99 so that was that and then from the same company i bought <coughs> which is clinical works i bought this vitamin c facial oil uh, which <coughs> was also 5.99 and actually feels really nice and light when you put it on, not sticky at all, which is makes a change because vitamin C oil I find quite often is quite sticky. So that's good. And these are really big as well. So, I mean, the Primark ones, which I usually use, well, I have used, are tiny and they're at like 3.99. And I mean, the L'Oreal Hyaluronic, which I've been using, is not anywhere near as big as this and is about three times the price. And then I bought this one, which is from Provence Beauty is a hyaluronic acid serum and this was also 5.99 i think or 4.99 maybe uh, i've taken the price off that one um, but this is uh, they didn't have one of the clinical works ones so i just got this one and they look really nice together look pretty colors <laughs> uh so yeah that and i thought i'll give that one a go this one doesn't feel very oily it feels quite light when you put it on so that's quite nice if you like that but yeah thought that was nice and then let me just grab the other thing that I bought the other day. <clears throat> so last week, Phoebe and I spent a couple of days in Swindon down south because she had her tap associates that she goes to. They had their intensive course for a couple of days. So we stopped over in the hotel for a night and I just worked from the hotel for two days rather than from home which was fine and on the Tuesday morning we nipped into Asda to pick up some lunch for her and I'd not been to Asda to look at their autumn stuff I think in my video I showed some video which Archie and his girlfriend had taken for me and they'd been in there but they said there wasn't that much and I think they've had more in since then so I do I should go well so I do need to I don't need to go <laughs> and have a proper look I probably won't go because I I will only buy stuff. But I saw this in the Asda, it was only a little Asda that we went to, but they did have a few little bits. And one of those was this little sign, or three signs, three little pumpkin um, signs. So just this one with the two little pumpkins etched on, the white one with spots, and the orange one that says Hello Autumn. And it was, I wanna say it was like 5.99, I haven't got a price. But it wasn't super expensive. I think I'm pretty sure it was 5.99 for that. So, um, so I bought that and that's everything. I felt like there was something else I wanted to talk to you about, but I can't remember what that was. Oh yes, <laughs> I remember. I was just gonna talk about um, 
I was thinking about unpopular opinions. I did an unpopular opinions video a little while ago, which lots of people really liked. And I've been thinking about other unpopular opinions so I could do another one, but I couldn't really think of enough. And then a lady, I was just watching a lady who I follow on Instagram talk about two unpopular opinions. And I was like, oh my God, yes, me too. And the first one is that I hate Oasis. <laughs> Sorry for anyone who does. You can unfollow me if you want. I really don't like them. And everyone is going crazy about them. And Phoebe rang me at, must have been about eight, eight o'clock, quarter past eight this morning to say, oh, Oasis are going on tour. Can we go and see them? I'm like, no. No, I can't. And then I said, well, your dad might take you. And I said to Andrew, do you want to take her to Oasis? He went, no. And then she asked Archie and he went, no. <laughs> so I think she's a bit disappointed. I was like, you're not even an Oasis fan. She was like, yeah, well, I'd like to go. So, well, you're not. Uh, so, so, yeah, that was quite funny. But, yeah, I'm really not an Oasis. I just don't get it. I don't mind the music, so I just don't like them very much. <laughs> not that I know them personally, but... Anyway, so that I thought was funny. And then she also, what was the other thing she said? Uh, bear with, let me just double check because I messaged her about it. Oh yes, the other thing she said she hates was when people do this, when they're showing stuff and they do all this. <laughs> and she, she said, oh, I know it's like ASMR and stuff. Well, it's not. It, unless you're doing an ASMR video that is specifically ASMR, then people aren't watching your content for ASMR. Like People will, who like ASMR will watch that specific content. I know because that's what Archie does for a job. He edits and promotes ASMR artists. Um, and people who just do it in their normal video and like, oh, look at this. I just think it's really weird. <laughs> really weird I, I, like stop doing it stop and um yeah so i thought i'd mention it on here because i maybe I'm, i don't know whether well she clearly i'm not the only one because she doesn't like it either so i thought that might be a talking point for you guys do you did you all love oasis and i'm i'm in the minority and do you love all of this stuff does it make you feel like good because <laughs> it doesn't for me it just run it really annoying so um so yeah let me know what you think about that um so yeah that's it that's all i've got to say really today so I hope you enjoyed this um, relatively short video for me although it probably is still quite long because I, I talk a lot uh, leave me a note down below or a, a comment was what the proper word for it leave me a comment down below let me know what you've been up to whether you've enjoyed your summer well I hope you have uh, but what you've been up to have you been on any nice holidays have you got holidays coming up if so where are you off to uh, have you started thinking about Christmas yet I have bought one present and yesterday when we were at the garden centre I took lots of photos of things that I thought people might like for Christmas so that was really good but no I haven't started buying anything yet I'm not that organised I probably should stop spending this money on myself and start planning for Christmas but it'll just come round eventually won't it so yeah I hope you're all well and thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're not already, hit that notification bell so you can see every time I upload a video and I will see you next time. You told Bye. me more than once to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention